Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you hear my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart. For I'm just the messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Let's go ahead and get into another reading for this evening. All right. Ooh. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, clear communication, and divine protection. All right. Money and possessions is what we're going to really talk about, I'm guessing. Maybe someone's concerned with your money and, and possessions. Um, your appearance and outward personality is probably going to bring you balance in your money and possessions. Yeah. You're being cooperative, meaning you're walking in your life purpose, okay? You're making the correct decisions. And someone's trying, you're being very logical and inventive, and someone's trying to get you to act erratic. They want you to release this, this uppity attitude of yours. They want you to come on down to Karmicville and see what's up. <laughs> they really do. Yeah, this person's irresponsible and tactless, and they want you to be the same way. Now, why do they want to do this? They just want to take you out your north node, your balance now, and this person wants to trigger you person maybe wants you to worry be very overcritical about your situations but you have released and changed that attitude so this person basically wants you to lack of resources and freak out about it they want you to act irrationally and fuck yourself up they don't want you to keep thinking uh using your common sense or using your intuition okay this person's very assertive aries okay war agriculture so this person may be some sort of uh enterprising tyrant possibly very headstrong and competitive with you but you are protected because you honestly i'm getting you protect earth you're a warrior you protect earth you are a that's why you're in your north node you are a earth angel yeah you 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 bring the balance on earth you're a warrior that's what you're here for the spiritual police <laughs> okay the spiritual police friends goals in your immediate environment surrender maybe you had to give up friends and groups certain goals in your life uh in order to slow down communication people maybe have been trying to attack you trying to trigger you because they want you to get out of this north node energy as well you reflect on that sometimes so it's pretty much giving me the energy of i don't give a damn with nobody else trying to throw at me i done been through it all everybody didn't try to throw some at me i'm not talking to nobody dealing with nobody it's just me against me and that uh attitude of being disciplined and methodical is helping you because this person is hiring people and sending them towards you to trigger you they want you pissed they like you mad they want you pissed they like you mad i don't know they like you mad. You could have possibly had a parent or a parent that's doing this. They don't like the fact that you're being creative and confident. Yeah, with your work and your health. Like this person just wants, so if you had a parent that just wanted you to fuck up in life, this is this person. Ooh, but this person might be uh about to cross over while you receive your new beginnings. Yeah, whatever this person was doing, hiring all these people, sending these people towards you, he was being recorded, he was being watched. He was the one who tried or had you blackballed in your community. He was the one who was dirtying up your reputation. Now he's self-pitying because you won't give it up and you're going toward a marriage that's going to balance out your life. This person is very lazy and stubborn, and the truth is now coming out about what he did to you as a child that he tried to keep in secret. You taking action to get away from this person brought down the righteousness and mercy of God, and this person is trying to escape their fate. You staying in a graceful energy is helping you harvest your endeavors. And these secrets that are coming out are going to heal you and guide you the rest of the way down your path. So make sure you set good intentions. Think positive. Try to be positive. Even if it doesn't go your way, still be thankful for what you have. You're very adaptable. And you're smart enough to know 
you're go like you, you're smart enough to know how to handle it you've already been through everything so you know how to handle it just continue in that way um <clears throat> shoot yeah this person's probably gonna pass away and you're gonna get some money from him too you're receiving this message. You better receive that money. Hallelujah. Okay. The fact that this masculine, I told you, is going to transition in order for you to get your, get more of your just due. Because your career is really going to take you off because of your appearance and outward personality. The things that you've suffered through is really going to help you, uh, help others heal. Okay. Because you heal from things that some people couldn't fathom. Something that you heal from things that this man couldn't even deal with okay so i'm just telling you right now it says eighth house and uh, regeneration other people's money you're definitely going to get this masculine's money and it's going to open roads for you watch how you spend money watch how yeah don't let that money seduce you it may be a large amount and holy spirit is letting you know uh what future said you could be sober as fuck the money is gone seduce you don't let it do it okay that is how the adversary is trying to trick you by give you some money or when you receive this money they want you to spend it you know frivolously um yeah and this person is going to hell they know it and they want your forgiveness they're fixated on your forgiveness what fixated on your forgiveness give me some on that holy spirit fixated on your forgiveness because they want you to forgive them so they can get back in your good energy your good graces but they continue to miss this opportunity because you're ignoring their ass this I'm, but i'm getting this part he's using spell work to do so trying to make you forgive him maybe in your dreams he wants to be like look i know i ain't never did nothing for you and i want to give you this money but you get money anyway because it is what this person did to you Whatever it was that this person did to you in your past, whether it was just blackballing you, whatever kind of RICO crimes, because if a motherfucker can blackball you from a community, then RICO crimes. That is racketeering and all kind of shit going on, okay? But, um, yeah, he's missing this opportunity to do so. He knows his time is coming, uh, getting near. And he's stuck in his mind about it. He's sad because you're successful. And he liked when, you know, he could cause you pain, strife, turmoil. But you're the one you're, <laughs> I'm hearing bright and shiny. <laughs> yeah, like you're the one that's going to be able to go on this new path, okay? You're going to have your own money. And you're getting an opportunity with a masculine that's ordained by the Holy Spirit. You're getting the victory. You're going to have a husband that love you, a family that cares for you, things that this masculine couldn't do or wanted to keep you away from, honestly. Yeah, they wanted to keep you away from that. You stood your ground, though. You stood your ground, you stuck to your morals, and that's why you're going to be able to celebrate and be in this energy. It was like this father figure of yours was your enemy, your lifelong enemy, and you are putting an end to that. You were young, you were young, you didn't even know, but this is the person who hated you the most in your life. Yeah, this person disappointed because you're getting justice, and they put a lot into trying to throw you off your path, and now they want a truce. Yeah, he want to get back in your energy because he know you got some powerful-ass manifestation powers. But he also knew that when he was trying to control you and mentally abuse you, physically abuse you. Okay, so you found a way out. You're very career-driven, moving forward, gaining your strength and courage. Yes, you have your guard up to all that bullshit. So he knows he can't reach you anyway. You have you brought up to everything he tried. Like, it's not happening. You will stand your ground. You will fight. Like, they know that. This is the thing that they didn't want to do. They were doing magic on you in the past to try to keep you silent. So no one would know what they were doing to you behind closed doors. But it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. Your energy overpowered whatever spell work they were doing against you. Your courage. Okay, but you're going to get ultimate happiness. Oh, yes, especially in this partnership. Someone's going to love you properly. Yeah, someone's going to love you properly because that's, I mean, you're a nourishing, you're a nourishing, loving, creative, joyful person. And you deserve to be able to be in a life of comfortability is what I'm hearing. So they have a masculine who's on his way to ride his, his chariot with a white horse on it right towards you yeah okay okay so i don't think i want to pull anything else on this 
pretty self-explanatory and it's short. I'm hearing a short story of victory. Let me get something else. You know what? It's not these cards. Holy Spirit said I need to get some of these cards. Okay. Holy Spirit, what do you have for the collector out of this deck? Integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness. So your integrity is what saved you and what's continuing to save you. Holy Spirit wants you to know that from now on with communication of your hurts, since you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to, write them down and put them in a box. And you and him can communicate that way, more on a personal level. Because with this healing that you've gotten, you will be doing seminars and workshops and helping other people heal. You even do it now just by your stories. So don't think any of your pain was in vain, okay? Shoot, you might even write a book about it. Yeah, you got to use your throat chakra. You literally went through hell and high water in order to teach. To teach. So don't think that this is just the end and don't be sad and don't give up. You're working very closely with Archangel Michael because you are an indigo child. An indigo child, the person of blue skin, an extraterrestrial of blue skin. You could be an Andromedan, okay? Be willing to forgive and ask the angels to clear your mind from past pain. And ask Archangel Michael to cut the cords for you, okay? Um, you may be getting messages and songs, music, words. These are real answers or real messages to your prayers, okay? So maybe also change up your diet a little bit just to help you out. You are an intergalactic being, baby. It is all about being, uh, what is it, heart chakra, being weighed and being light as a feather. So love on you, baby. Don't be so hard on yourself. All right, y'all. The money coming in, these people can no longer do this to you. They suffering, you won't allow them in. You have been fighting since your day of birth. And the Holy Spirit said you are going to be able to celebrate. This is the time of harvest for you because you know you grew it. You planted your seeds. Now you can harvest your 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 uh I don't know, what harvest your endeavors. You can bring in your harvest, okay? These other people that was out here planting bad seeds, ain't shit grow for them. So it's time for them to reap, all right? This is it. This is all, my loves. I'm going to go ahead and clean this table off, and we will get into another one.